Welcome back. It is time now for the Word on Wall Street. Top investors watching your money. Joining me right now is Payne Capital Management President and the host of Payne Points of Wealth podcast, Ryan Payne, back with us. Also with us is Adam Johnson this morning, uh, all morning. Ryan, thanks for joining the conversation. Thanks, Marie. Great to Good be to here. See. I've been on the Points of Podcast, and I loved it. It was Thank amazing you. having you. Yeah, it was really fun. Best episode ever. Uh, let's take a look at markets this morning because, Ryan, tech stocks once again powering this market uh, yesterday. This is really where the money is moving. Look at AI stocks this morning uh, and big tech which once again are showing the firmer tone much more than any other sector the wall street journal writes this big tech stocks aren't just dominating the market they're also hiding just how scared investors are that the federal reserve will keep rates higher for longer your reaction well first off i think scared money never wins um, and i think that is correct i think a lot of momentum investing a lot of fomo is pushing a lot of money into these stocks right now um, and look, their earnings have been magnificent. They sit on a lot of cash. Like if you look at Apple, it's $160 billion in cash. Wow. They could basically buy Disney <laughs> you know, with all that cash. And think about this. Two years ago, they were raising debt at like 1%. And think about that spread on the 5% they're probably getting, you know, sitting in treasuries right now. So they are so, so cash rich right now. But I think the problem is, you know, growth is going to eventually slow. And, and it is slowing. It is slowing, right, which means the Fed will most likely cut interest rates maybe one, maybe two times this year, especially after you know, we saw some manufacturing data come in weaker than expected. We're starting to see the job market moderate. So I think for all those reasons, other stocks, smaller stocks that have access to less capital, they have to borrow at these higher rates. They're more sensitive to interest rates. So if interest rates come down, that's going to be very, very good for small cap stocks, for any stocks like in real estate financials that are more uh, interest rate sensitive. And I think right now it's a great opportunity to re-diversify your money. What did you take away from the jolts number yesterday that could inform us on the jobs data this week? It's come down, which means moderation, but it's also normalizing. It's still relatively high. Job openings of like 8.06 million people or yeah. 1.2 jobs for every person looking is still relatively high based on history. So I think it's still a strong job market that also speaks to wages will stay strong. And if inflation continues to moderate, I mean, oil's down to almost $70 a barrel now. Yep. Um, that means purchasing power is going to stay relatively strong this year. Well, we'll see. I mean, I'm all in the second half. I'm just saying don't put all your money in the Magnificent Seven. I think that's going to be a mistake. Um, I think it's kind of like, you know, Cinderella, Cinderella at the ball right now. The party's going great, but we know at midnight, at some point, we're going to get the pumpkins and mice, but there's no hands on the clock. <laughs> okay. Pumpkins so. and mice? Is that <laughs> what really? happens at midnight? Where did the pumpkins and mice come I've, from? I've heard of pumpkins and mice. Have you not seen mice? Cinderella? Oh, okay. <laughs> Is that? <laughs> Ryan, great. Good stuff. Thanks, Thanks so Maria. much. Ryan Payne, Adam, you're with us all morning.